get a motor in here with eight big ones, you'd be like ready to cruise the streets, right? Oh yeah, and a little bit of laughing gas. Laughing gas? A little bit of laughing gas. You maybe. talking about nitrous? I don't know about that. You don't want a blower or a torque storm? Now nah, you want laughing gas? Yeah. All right, well, we'll see. You know we have the laughing gas off of Frostbite in the shed, just sitting there. Might have to throw it on the old four-cylinder and send her off for good. I mean, you already took it all apart, though. Look, there's no, I mean, we'd have to fix this motor before we did that. Might be an option. Might be an option? Might be an option. All right, I don't know. We'll see. 250 shot? I think a 50 shot would probably send that little four banger off. Maybe no jets, just let's do it. No jets, just straight tube? Yeah. That would definitely send it. That would send it to the moon. <laughs> probably send the whole truck to the moon, actually. We'll see. And we can take Sub Zero and Frostbite to the track and start beating down the track together. That'd be awesome. So. It might get a little garbage. What? Just saying. No, sir. Just saying. Gap frostbite, buddy. You, you've lost your mind now. You're going to need more than eight big ones, all right? And laughing gas. You're going to need like two kits of laughing gas. What's up, Mopar fam? We are back with another video today, and we're working on something that we haven't seen in a while. Project Sub-Zero. What's up there, guy? Hear the old wrench, old ratchet turning. So, weather's cooling down here in Georgia. We're finally getting some time to start working on Sub-Zero, which is my son's first vehicle. This is something he got that he wanted to build up. And uh, this is going to be his daily driver and a weekend warrior. We're going to take it to the track and run it every now and then. It's not going to be anything crazy, but it's going to be fun. So stay tuned. We're going to have some cool things going on the truck here soon. But he's tearing some stuff apart, taking some stuff out that we don't need um, in order to do the motor swap that we're about to do coming up. I'm not going to go into detail with that yet. Stay tuned and you'll find out what we're going to be dropping into Sub-Zero wanted to show you some of the cool parts that we just got that's going to be going on sub-zero all right so sub-zero we already got a few parts to go on sub-zero and they are going to be headlights because obviously these look like trash although they could be saved with some cleaning and buffing and sanding we could save those i've done it before on the same kind of vehicle when i had my old rt dakota but we got a little bit something fancier looks a little better so we're going to be ditching these headlights and we're going to be using these guys these are brand new black and chrome headlights that i think is going to go with sub-zero pretty well that we got sent to us from auto saver the amazon link will be in the description of this video so if you have an old dakota or old durango these headlights will fit your application and these things look really really nice so I'm gonna try to get one out here so you guys can see it see what we got going on so this is gonna be the new headlights for project sub-zero try to peel off this uh, protection film real quick for you and there we go these are the black housing with the chrome accents in it. Gonna look really, really nice on the truck compared to the old factory headlights. So that's gonna look pretty, pretty dang cool right there, guys. What do you think? Definitely gonna make the front end of this truck stand out a lot more than the old factory hazy headlights. But all in all, I'm really impressed with these headlights, especially for the price. Uh, they're only going to set you back around 100 bucks. So again, if you're interested in trying some of these things out, 
Amazon link is in the video description below. Click down in the description, you'll see the link. Takes you right to these headlights that we're gonna be putting on. Project Sub-Zero. Uh, next thing we're gonna be changing up here soon is gonna be, do, 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 do. Obviously those guys are gonna go. And tailgate is obviously gonna go. We're not even gonna use a tailgate on this truck. We are gonna be putting on a net like we have on Frostbite, but anyway, my son's kind of been getting ahead of me here lately, and he's already pulled off the rear bumper, as you can see. So we're obviously gonna be doing something very soon with the tail lights and the rear bumper on the truck. Haven't made our mind up yet on that. So we're trying to still figure that part out. Biggest thing right now is we're trying to figure out, or should I say he's trying to figure out how to get this motor out. <laughs> nah, that motor's coming out, whether we gotta hook it to the brand new Cummins up here, and rip it out it's going to come out here very soon so if you're just jumping in the channel for the first time again we just got this truck not long ago for my son this is a 2000 dodge dakota sport this was the five speed manual with a four cylinder option um, obviously a four cylinder ain't gonna get it however the motor i believe is salvageable it has a blowed head gasket for sure without no questions there's water in the oil and I mean more water than oil. You should have seen that crap. Holy moly. Um, what it looked like. It looked like straight up eggnog. Or milk. <laughs> straight up eggnog, he says. Like it was brutal. I think the first five minutes of draining was pure water. Before we even had eggnog come out of it, guys. But anyway, that's what we got. So that's the little four-cylinder. If you guys are kind of familiar with the old straight six Jeep motors, this is basically what it is. It's just got a couple cylinders chopped off. So it's a little inline four cylinder. Really reliable motor. They've been around a long time. Great for a daily or a go-getter, but he don't want it. You don't want a four cylinder? Are you sure, man? It ain't enough. It ain't enough. How do you know? You don't you haven't even you don't even drive yet. Listen, I just know. You just know? You have the feeling so how many cylinders do you think you need probably eight probably eight eight of them eight big ones eight big ones i mean hey eight big ones might get her done project sub-zero your plan is what do you want to do with this truck man five seven or five nine a five nine or five seven or so five, a five seven you know we're talking mopar terms here we're talking five seven hemi definitely not you know, a 350 GM product, right? No. All right, that's my uh, that's my boy. So 5.9, you know, I don't think we're gonna be putting no Cummins in here, so we must be maybe talking about a Magnum 360. Yeah? Oh yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So a Hemi or a Magnum 360? I like it, I like it. I kinda, I kinda think a 5.9 360. I mean, that's kinda, I love my RT. The old 5.9s, they sound great. So I don't know. We gotta we gotta get this turd out of here first, and then we gotta go find us a motor and a donor. And this is a five-speed manual, so that means uh, probably gonna be an automatic swap going on here. Probably, but I really don't want to. You kind of want to be a gear jammer? I want to learn it. Yeah. You want to learn to be a gear jammer? I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with a gear jammer. But if we go with eight big ones like you want then you know that little four cylinder five speed transmission probably ain't gonna hold up to eight big ones <laughs> so we'll have to see what we got to do it, it, it might be a call to might be a call to our buddy 46 re trans break i mean that'd be a good daily might have to give a call up to our buddy john cope huh john cope is maybe he can help us out now he's not building transmissions no more but I'm sure we can find a 46 RE and buy a bunch of parts from them. So I don't know. We'll see what's up. Is the doors unlocked in this turd? <coughs> oh, man. It's, it's, it's terrible in here. Look, we got no door panels. Looking like a race truck already. Got our seats going on. Got our old five-speed gear jammer. All in all, the inside of this truck, guys, really is not bad at all. We just got to 
get some stuff fixed up in here. You know, it's a solid truck. No rust. It was a Georgia truck. Really solid truck. All right, so obviously today we were showing you the brand new headlights that we got for Project Sub-Zero. That's one of the first things he's going to have to throw on the truck. So how you like the new headlights? You think they look pretty cool? Definitely better than that. That's Definitely cool. better than that. I mean, wah, 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 wah. Definitely looks a lot better. I'm going to have to agree with you on that. I think that looks a lot better. So, once we get those on, get the truck cleaned up, get a motor in here with eight big ones, you'll be like ready to cruise the streets, right? Oh, yeah. And a little bit of laughing gas. Laughing gas? A little bit of laughing gas. You talking about nitrous? I don't know about that. You don't want a blower or a torque storm? Now you want laughing gas? Yeah. All right, well, we'll see. You know we have the laughing gas off of Frostbite in the shed, just sitting there. I might have to throw it on a little four-cylinder and send her off for good. I mean, you already took it all apart, though. Look, there's no, I mean, we'd have to fix this motor before we did that. Might be an option. Might be an option? Might be an option. All right, I don't know. We'll see. 250 shot I think a 50 shot would probably send that little four banger off Maybe no, jets, just let do his stuff. no jets just straight tube yeah. that would definitely send it that would send it to the moon Probably send the whole truck to the moon actually. We'll see But heck yeah guys, that's gonna do it for the video today. Just wanted to show you the awesome headlights we got for Junior back there. Where'd you go? Uh, uh, uh. For project sub-zero and If you want to it would be awesome he started a little YouTube channel. He's going to start trying to wrench on Sub-Zero. He's doing most of all this stuff himself. As you can see, I'm not even in my work on stuff clothes. He's out here in the driveway tearing this thing apart by himself. I'm sure he's throwing all my tools everywhere, probably losing everything, but you know how it goes. We kept the 10 millimeter. You didn't lose the 10 millimeter no, yet? didn't lose it yet. <laughs> all right, man. So go check out. He's got a YouTube channel, Sub-Zero. So he's got his own little YouTube channel now. It'll be in the description below for Sub-Zero. So definitely it'd be awesome. Go subscribe to him. We'll see how the Project Sub-Zero comes along. And uh, I'm anxious to get the truck running. Hopefully we can get it done over the winter. And we can take Sub-Zero and Frostbite to the track. And start beating down the track together. That'd be awesome. So. It might get a little garbage. What? Just saying. No, sir. Just saying. Gap frostbite, buddy. You, you lost your mind. Now you're gonna need more than eight big ones. All right. And laughing gas. You're gonna need like two kits and laughing gas to gap frostbite. But before you get a little too cocky here, all right? And I have to choke you. I'm gonna let you go. All right. We already got a door panel off. Weight reduction. I'm already no. ahead of you. No. See, this is what I gotta deal with right now. Just... This is what I gotta deal with. This is this is what I gotta deal with, guys. But. Y'all have a good one out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Go subscribe to Junior's YouTube channel. That would be great. If you're interested in the headlights that we just got for Sub-Zero, the link's in the description below. Stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.